Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Grand Theft Auto 5 or GTA 5 Online is having an issue with crashing, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen issue and how you can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about you can start with some simple solution and that is nothing but all you can try with few workaround and the first one is all about the basic step is all about you can try with a restart restart is what you have to do for this just go over here in this click click on this one on the start and move to this icon go for a restart once restart is successfully done just see this is a basic step you can try out this is not going to work for all the time you can start with a simple restart once Next step is all about it is nothing but we have to verify integrity of game file. For this we just need to go over here, right click and go to properties. Now from here go to installed files. Just click on verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time because the game is around 109.42 GB. So it's two way. So uh, you just need to click on this verify integrity of game file. So the process will take in between. So let me click on this one. So it's going to take a bit of time. So once it reach 100%, you will be getting the play button once again and you have to click on the play button and launch the game. So why this is an important step? Because uh, the verify integrity of a game file helps you to fix. It will cross check every single files of a game and it will be cross checking every single files and it will be cross checking if any files are corrupted or if any files are having any missing files which is causing the crashing and all these kind of issue. So it will be cross checking every single things that will be helping guys out. So you can try with the verify integrity of game file and this did work it for many users so you can try this out as well. Next one, after this let this get completed we will move to the next step. After done with the verify integrity of game file if you are still having the issue you can try launch the game. Instead of launch the game from Steam, try launch the game from the installation folder. This did work it for many users so you can try this out as well. For this we just need to go over here, we need to go over here right click and go to properties, go to install it file and just click on the browse. So that redirect you to the installation folder if you check at the top that is this PC local disk C program file x86 steam steam apps common grand theft auto 5. So this is the application so you have to launch the application from the installation folder instead of launching the application from the steam. So you can try with this and most probably this will be working fine so you can try this out as well. If this is not working we have to move to the next one. That is all about we need to run the game as an administrator. So hence we are in the installation folder we can do this from here itself. For this just go over here in the installation folder right click and go to show more options and go to properties. Go to compatibility. Now from here we have to click on run this program as an administrator. Now go for apply and go for ok and see whether the issue is solved or not. This is what you have to do. So this is the first step. Not the first step you have to try from here and most probably when running the game as an administrator in my personal opinion this did work it for many other games like uh, Spider-Man Morales even for games like you know Apex Legends and even for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So you can try this out as well. Even after trying if it's still not working we do not have to panic we have to move to the next step that is all about. What you need to do is we just need to run the game in the compatibility mode and this did work it for many users. For this just right click over here, go to show more options and go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here click on run this program in compatibility mode, set this first one to windows 7 and go for apply and go for ok and see whether the issue is solved or not. If that's not working we have to change this to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok and see whether the issue is solved or not and this is what you have to do. So most probably running either in the run as an administrator or running in the compatibility mode might be working so you can try this out and move to the next step. Next step is all about we have to make sure that is uh, you have to make sure that the time time zone and uh, the region has to be correct. Let this get processed in between. So I have to go over here in the search, go for settings. Now from here we have to go to settings. Now from here go to time and language. Now from here first go to date and time. Make sure the time and time zone should be correct. This is the important step. We have to set the time as well as time zone should be correct. Once you set this up, we have to make sure that you have to click on the sync. This has to be synced as well. Now go back 
go to the language and region so here make sure the country i mean the geography where you are living should be correct so for example if you're from india you have to select india if you're from united states you have to select united states you have to make sure this is correct so once you set this up you have to go back and see whether the issue is solved or not and we have to move to the next step next step is all about you have to launch the game but while launch the game just press alt and tab from the keyboard and this did work it for many users you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard and you can see and that's going to work for you as well this did work it for many users in the past so you can try this out just press alt and tab from the keyboard and that's what you have to do move to the next step is all about we can try with the next one that is all about we need to delete the saved game file for this we just need to go over here select the file explorer now go to this pc go to documents over here so here you can see the rockstar game so you have to delete this folder and keep in mind when you're doing this you will be losing all the progressions but that is fine this did work it for many users for many games so you can try this out so just delete it and once you delete this one you can try launching the next game next one is all about i mean we have to go to the next step that is all about the next step now you got the uh, play button over here so this is uh, the remaining of uh, verify and identity of a game file as you can see you'll be getting the message that all 56 client files were successfully validated so which means you're good to go you don't having an issue if they're having issue they'll be showing you this so next step is all about we have to go to the next step that is nothing but next step is all about what you need to do is we just need to move to the next step that is allow the game to window security for this we just reason we have to go over here in the search go for control panel we have to go to the control panel click on this one now go to system and security go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow and apport feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to keep scrolling down and we have to check for grand theft auto so as you can see the grand theft auto is already added make sure the private and public should be correct that's an important step so once you step you can move to the next if it's not added if the game is not listed here you can do it by manually for this just click on change settings go for allow another app go for browse go for this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 now from here go to steam folder now go to steam apps once again now from here go to common now from here we have to find grand theft auto 5 now select the application go for open and add it so this is how you can add it i'm getting the error because it's already added so this is how you can add the game once the game is added successfully just try launch the game and most probably the issue has to be fixed next step is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with multiple monitors especially when it comes to the gta 5 online we might be playing the game with the controllers so just remove everything from there then you just need to launch the game launch the game after the game is successfully launched just connect back the controllers and continue and most probably that will be helping and this did help it for many users so you can try this out next step is all about you can try with performing a clean boot for this we will for that we just need to go over here in the search go for system configuration go for services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services and they're going to ask you for apply and go for okay sometimes it might ask you for restart if they're asking for restart just do a restart and here we're in the middle of video so i have to i'm not doing this but you have to restart once restart is done just launch the game from steam and that's going to have work for you as well next one is all about you can try with disabling the steam overlay for this we just need to go over here right click and go to the properties make sure this is turn it off if it is turn it on turn this off launch the game if that's not working we have to go over here for the giving the commands in the launch option the first command in the launch option is nothing but there is uh, the first command is dx11 first give this command and launch the game if dx11 is not working change this to dx12 and see whether the issue is solved or not any one of thing has to be worked and this did work it for many in my knowledge so you can try with this and once it's not working we have to move to the next step next step is all about nothing but that is all about we need to close all the overlay application for this we just need to go over here in the start right click and go to device manager now from here you can see sorry not device manager right click and go to task manager now from here as you can see there are many things running in the background so actually there are 46 apps are running in the background which is utilizing the performance of my pc 
So that is why I am getting the crashing issue. So you have to remove the unwanted things. So one of the main is Discord is one of the unwanted thing. You have to remove it at any cost. And if you find anything like, for example, overclocking applications such as, you know, uh, for example, things like, you know, uh, River Tuner, MSI Afterburner, etc. And if you find this over here, you just need to remove it as well and remove the unwanted things from the background and just try launch the game. Next one is all about, you can try with the next one that is all about. We need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For this, we just need to go over here in the search, go over here in the graphics settings. Now from here, we have to add the game. So I'll be adding it. Just go to the browse. Now go to the navigate to the installation folder that is local to C, program file x86. Now from here, we have to go to Steam. Now from here, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, go to Grand Theft Auto. Now select this one and add it. So once you add this, once you add the Grand Theft Auto, select this one, go for option and set this to high performance and you have to set this to high performance. Once you set this to high performance and go for save. So uh, once you set this to high performance and go back and try launch the game and that will be working fine as well. Next one is all about you can increase the virtual memory of the game. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search, go for view advanced system settings. Now go for advanced go for settings go to advance it once again go for change now from here you have to make sure that make sure that this is blank if you're selecting this you'll not be able to select the local disk keep this blank and select the local disk where the game is installed so uh, select the local disk and go for custom size set the value initial size value as well as maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is three times the total RAM. so we need a calculator so just go over here Go to the calculator so multiply 32 gb is the ram so you have to multiply 32 into 1024 that brings you 32768 multiply it with 1.5 so that brings you this particular value so copy this and you have to paste it move to the next value that is 32 gb into 1024 that brings you this and multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 and we have to copy this and paste it set this value and restart is a mandatory and you can try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about we can try with the next one that is we need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both the graphics card. So if you're on the Nvidia, you have to go to the Nvidia. If you're on the AMD, go for this one. So just go over here, select the GeoForce, select the details over here. If you're on 14 series, you have again select every details. If you're on Windows 11, select the operating, select the GeoForce and go for start search. So you'll be getting the latest outdated or released versions like this. That is 536.40 is the released graphics card. So just download this, install and restart the PC and try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details over here and go for submit. Now, if you go for submit, we are getting two options. That is Windows 11 is 64 bit. And if you're on Windows 10, 64 bit. If you're on Windows 11, download this one, install and restart the PC. If you're on Windows 10, download this one, I mean, uh, download this, install and restart the PC and try launch the game. And you can also parallel try with installing the Microsoft Visual C++ and this did work it. So you can go to this link and download x64. If your system is based on x64, if the, it is 8, x86, just download this one, install, restart and try launch the game. This is what you have to do. And last and the least one, you can try with two steps that just update the windows or make sure the windows is up to date. Go over here in the settings. Go to Windows Update. So just update and make sure the Windows is up to date. That's an important one. As well as go over here and make sure that is we have to uninstall and reinstall the game. And that did work it for a few users. For this, just go over here, right click and go to manage uninstall the game and reinstall the game back. While doing this, keep in mind, you should not be installing back on the local disk. You have to depend or find any other local disk. Do not do on the same local disk back. So these are the possible workaround which you can try out when you're having an issue with Grand Theft Auto is having online, GT5 online is having all these kind of issues. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.